Zach Wilson, here we are. I've defended this guy all season. Um, plays one of the worst games I've seen as a Jet. I mean, I was a Jet. I had 15 some odd quarterbacks. I've never seen a worse game than that. Um, but the biggest thing getting into is the accountability factor. You know, after the game, they said, do you feel like you led the defense down? And he said, no. Like, just matter of fact, like, no. At that point, you know, a couple of weeks ago, he lost uh, the fans. Uh, after that comment, he lost the locker room. Uh, and at this point, I think he should lose his job. I'm going I'm to beg to differ right there. One, we only have three quarterbacks that I know of on this roster. You have Joe Flacco, you have Zach Wilson, and you have Mike White. All right, so we're at a junction in the season where the season is a totally lost. I get that he made a mistake by saying no so quickly. And again, if he had done that, if he was playing – uh, down here in Jacksonville somewhere, I don't think it would have mattered. But the fact that he's in New York and you make that comment, eh, it, it's a bad thing, and I get it, it's a, it being accountable. But right now, he's the best option the Jets have, in my opinion. You can't tell me Flacco is going to do any better, and you can't tell me Mike White is going to do any better. But then we're going to go back to what you said. So I'm going to go back to how you did things. So you went back last week and you said they was going to win this game against the Patriots. I'm going to leave that there. They should you also Okay, okay, but you also said – you also gave the front office their flowers early. Remember, he's the number two pick two years in. So you can't have a guy that you're thinking about benching, but then you're also going to anoint a staff for having done such a great job. So you can't hang him out the job because then you got Sam Donald, in my opinion, 2.0. You've got rid of another top-tier quarterback that was the future in everybody's opinion. So I don't see how we can hang him out the dry just yet. He's the best option we have up to this point with the way the offensive line has been playing. So I figured leave him where he is, allow him to make amends with the team. It's New York. You're going to get picked on. Hell, they said I was a thug when I got there. They said the Jets are draft anybody. It's going to happen. New York is going to be hard on you. That's the great thing about being in New York. If you have success, you're going to be praised. He's the quarterback. He's had some downfalls. He's had some hor horrible games. I get it. He's played only horrible to mediocre. I get it. But you have to leave him where he is. And, and ride the way because you can't let a sec. Because if you take him out right now, you're giving up on him. Then you're going to bother with his psyche. So after you touch his psyche, then if you have to come back to him, how do you, if you think he's playing bad now, what you think he's going to do? He's 23 years old. What do you think he's going to do then? Help me with that one. Listen, Sam Darnold was there. I understand Sam Darnold 2.0. Sam Darnold took it on the chin all those years. He never, you know, did not take the blame and accountability. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I just think that I don't want to waste a year of this defense and how they're playing um, for this kid to be learning still. Flacco is a vet. Um, I understand he's not the guy anymore. Mike White came in last year. I just think they're not going to play hard for this kid. You got the receiver showing him up. He, me and you knew. If there's a bad pass or something, you can't, you know, throw your hands in the air like that. But you got young guys doing it. But I was at the game, and it's different than seeing on TV because I could see the field, and guys are naked. And then the guys you throw to, it's over their head and this and that. I get it. I it's, get very, it. it's very frustrating because they, they can't acknowledge, hey, we messed up with the number two pick on this guy. I understand that from, from that point of view. But, man, what does he see when he looks in the mirror? Does, did he look in the mirror after this game and be like, he had to. Wasn't my yeah, he did. And this is what exactly what he said. Man, I got a baby face. Look at me. Huh. I'm 23 years old. I'm the starting quarterback of the New York Jets. I'm the number two pick overall out of Brigham Young University, baby. I'm that boy. No. So it can't be my fault. It's got to be everybody else's fault. So as a quarterback, you got to stroke his ego. We've been on teams where no. quarterbacks got their ego stroke. We've been on teams where it has happened. You have to. Their psyche is so fragile, bro. You got to let him do his thing. He's got enough heat from the outside right now. He has shown flashes. He's just not been able to do it consistently. That's his only thing. He 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 made an off the cuff decision. I mean, so we I mean we all have done something wrong. Well, Elijah Moore, he wants to be traded. They'll forgive you. Come out and make a couple plays. That's all it takes. I, I, he needs to come back and make a couple plays. He'll be fine. But I did give the offense. An F minus, just so you know, just 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 letting you know what, what the grade was. <laughs> How did this roll reversal happen? Listen, I just <laughs> just just the way I saw it, like um, you wanted to go out and do a little teaser out of, after the game. I was sitting in traffic, Foxboro for hours, and you know they wanted me to do a little thirty second spot, and I'm like, you know what? 
And, and this is one thing uh, people need to understand. I, you know, people, they wanted to go on and say, you know, I mean, shitty traffic. It's a shitty game and all this. And I say, I'm not going to speak now. I'm angry. Uh, and <laughs> people know we get 15 minutes after the game that the media could come in. So, so I understand it's a knee jerk reaction to say that. I just think if ever there is a chance to give someone else a chance, he's given them that reason. Um, you know, because now Sal is up in the air about what he's going to do. But you he's not up in the air. Or he run that on y'all. No. He's not up in the air. Trust me. He's not up in the air. Yeah. You can't be at this point because you don't know what Mike White's going to do. I mean, yeah, he came in last year. Now I'm telling you, he hasn't played since last year. Your best opportunity to salvage this season is allow this kid to finish. And I know it's rough. I know it's rough. I know it's rough. And I'm, and that's the great thing about me. I look at stuff from a different lens than most people do. So I'm not going to, because everybody's bashing, I'm going to jump on him and be like, oh, he sucks pulling. If y'all say he's great, I'm going to say he's horrible. If y'all say he's good, hey, I'm going to say he's okay. And then if y'all say he's bad, I'm going to be like, I ain't that bad. It's just That's just me. Nick I don't Singles, wanna... man. <laughs> you got Nick Singles going on. I'm like, I need him in the middle. Yeah, I I'm like, the uh, who, who's gonna, I'm thinking last night I changed my mind and this morning now I'm like, who is going to bash this guy more? Me or you? I mean, that's, I, mean <laughs> I understand, man. I don't want this kid. I want this kid to have a successful career. When you got 100% of the defense mad at him and majority of the offense don't want to block for him or catch. I mean, it's just it's they weren't blocking for him, no way. He's hard to root for right now. Okay, well, well, I'm not rooting for him, but I'm not canning him either. That's all I'm saying. He's not. I, you, you can't get give your best opportunity away because you're upset. I get it. Yeah, well, everybody's angry, but you can't get. He's our best shot right now. Yeah. Just, just look at it that I way. I really don't know at this point. I'm, I'm up in the air. I, I know. Just, I just think I know. It's. Tough, I, I'm man. telling you, I know. He's the best shot we got. I'm not guesstimating. I'm not guessing. He is the best shot the Jets have. Here's the right? problem. Here's the problem. The, the the media said or the team said, you know, you know, don't turn the ball over. So he's thinking, oh, I didn't turn the ball over. He didn't. I didn't he hurt didn't. the team. Dude, two yards. Not we had more punts and completions. I get it. And this I isn't like it. this is this isn't like you know you know one thing. It's it's been like this, and I like the kid. I've met him, and I just don't know, man. I I, I believe know. what my thing is. So you had some people in the locker room not happy about it. Put your name on it. Put your chest out there. All this stuff. We, we had that back in the day. Yeah. With guys, are, oh, well, it's an anonymous source. Be a man. Step up and say I said it. If you if anybody said nothing, the media just throwing stuff out there in my opinion. Until you put somebody, put their name on it, I don't want to hear it. All right. In my opinion, the locker room ain't upset with them. Yeah, they probably was upset right after the game because the, the offense stunk up the place. But – when you get back and you take a look at film, I mean, ain't nobody punishing Mims because he dropped the wide open pass. Ain't nobody talking about, oh, man, he's had a couple games where he's dropped balls. It's It's been horrific around the board on the offense. It just showed up at this time because it was the Patriots. It was the 14th consecutive loss. People felt and people know that the Jets are a better team. So it stings more when you are the worst player out there that day. <laughs> All right, I understand. But there's been other days where people have been horrible, and we just kind of yeah. let it slide off, you know. And then he said, "Uh, it was windy, dude. It was. You playing in the Northeast? Come on. I was in Florida, and I felt it. Hey, listen, dude. I played <laughs> in the Meadowlands where the flags were going this way, the stuff on the goalposts were going this way. I'm trying to catch punks, and it's all over the place. You gotta be able to throw the wind, man, in the Northeast. But listen, uh, man, let's listen. let's just leave it at. You know, whatever what? choice they make, I'm I'm good with. I would like the kid to be successful. He's more talented than the other two combined. Thank I just you. think that maybe a change will do it. But they, if they start booing booing Zach and stuff, and, and that he's doing terrible, it's it's tough to bring someone in this situation. It would have been tough to bring Mike in in New England and throw him in. It would have been fair to him. So they, yeah. you know, at this point, you know. If they if they stick with them, they gotta go with them.